What's up everybody and welcome back to the Last Day Enough Survival. So, carrying on from last episode basically, just trying to increase our traits a little bit more. Going to see if I can grab something to eat. So today we have got a revenge raid to head out on. Unfortunately, I forgot to repair my walls after I got raided before, so they actually broke this wall here and they got into some chests there, so they actually got a little bit of loot. Nothing that good, just a couple of air filters, I think a zip gun or two, but still, they took some of my stuff. That's the first time I've actually lost stuff to raids in ages, so I might have to start going out doing wood farms again to get some resources. Okay, so we are raiding XXZ. And let's see if we can get another trait. Hopefully we'll be able to get the better raid bases. Right, so let me just click on that quickly. Right, so at the moment we've, we make 1% less noise when breaking walls. Uh, yeah, so the one we want is better base loot. That's what we're going for. And I need to turn the game down a little bit on my side. And a little bit on the stream side as well. There we go. So, one important thing to note, they have removed revenge raids from the game. You can no longer scout bases at all. Which really sucks. But I hate that they've done that. Okay, so this has got a lot of chests in it. Alright. Nothing in their acid bath yet. Hmm. Let's go for... What have they put in their ATV? Uh, a few of the beginner things. Let's go for this chest here. This will either be food, brick, or random stuff. And it is random stuff. Hey, you took them for me. And I could go for a load of seeds. Hmm. So I'm guessing this is all going to be the food stuff. See, I've absolutely no idea, no way of working out where the good stuff will be in this space. It sucks. I hate it. A uh, bit of copper ore, but I've got a load of that. You know what? Quickly, I'm going to drop off the C4 in my... Here we go. 1C4. 2C4. So, at 92% to, to getting another trait. Let's... Let's go for the chests. Why not? It's good or better as any. Hopefully, we'll get something good out of it. And... 10 oak, that's thoroughly alright. Oh, and we're now being attacked. So I brought an almost broken M16 with me. There we go. Now the Glock. There we go. So it definitely does feel like they've made revenge raids worse. Because you used to get a lot better bases. And I have no idea why they would have done this. Oh, hang on. We have got a new raider trait. Come on, give us better bases. Better bases. Nope. Nope. Other survivors are 1% less likely to discover your base. But I like getting revenge raids. I don't want that. I do not want that trait. Hey, I'll take the charcoal. It's always nice for making some steel. Stock up our med kits. Take that back. Alright, so it looks like the good stuff might be up in this corner. That has potential to give me an electronic circuit later down the line. Right, let's gun these guys down. Right, so unfortunately we have currently got a quest to kill the blind one. And we killed him on stream yesterday, so I'm going to have to wait until the bunker resets before I could do a raider's raid. And someone just subbed on YouTube, thank you for that, whoever that was. And a zip gun, you took that from me, you pesky person. Right. See, it doesn't look like we're going to be finding their good loot. Quite possibly because this base doesn't have any good loot. That is quite a distinct possibility. I hope by bases with better loot, they don't mean bases with more chests. Because that would really suck if that was how they made it work. Hmm. Right, so we're kind of... Failing at finding really anything good. Right, this Glock's almost broken. 
And AK. There we go. Alright, so one more. Nothing good in there either. Come on. Don't be a disappointment. Give us something good. Got last chest. And nothing that good. I'll take another hatchet. Alright, everybody, I'll be back in a minute. Um doing something else, I suppose. Okay, I'm back everybody. And there's a lovely rest stop event which we can go and check out. Because I want to see if it's still possible to get an actual snorkel mask from the rest stop. Because, well, I know it's possible, but I haven't gotten one from there yet. I've only gotten snorkel masks from raids. So I've been going to every single rest stop that pops up on the map. So let's see what we're going to get. Hopefully we've got the guy standing in front of us. Okay. Ah, we've got this one. Let's see if we can do the glitch that makes them spawn twice. So how this works is, as soon as you get in there, you turn around and run back out again. And then when you load back in, in theory, there'll be two of them, and you get double the loot. Let's see what we can get. See if this actually works. Unfortunately, there's only one chopper at this event, so we're not going to be able to get the event here. Um, not at all. Less likely. Okay, so it didn't work that time. They might have fixed it, in fact. But there we go. Free shotgun. Um, free Glock. Can I get the... No, I didn't want to take absolutely everything. Don't want any of that stuff. But let's see what we get in the chopper. Come on, give us a snorkel mask. No. Camouflage pattern, though, but I've already got that. Apparently it's quite rare, so I might as well take it. And then we got just two boxes in the truck left. But the truck normally just has random crap in it. Nothing that good. I'll take that, and that can give me some copper bars. I wonder when they're actually going to implement the snorkel mask so it does something useful in-game. Like, what do you think it's going to be useful? Personally, yeah, give me one second, I'll take that. Personally, I think we're going to use the snorkel mask to get to the other the radio tower on the map, but I can't see how... Hmm... Yeah, that, that wouldn't work, would it? You can't use the snorkel mask to get to the radio tower because you're going to have to carry the generator. Which wouldn't work, would it? Let's take a look at the map quickly. Hmm. So, if you look over here, do you think maybe they'll make this place an event at some point? Or just a location you can visit? Maybe a fishing spot to get some fishies? Hmm. No idea. Just have to wait and see. Oh, so off camera, I did redeem a floppy disk and got myself an infected crate. Probably should have done that on camera to add something else to the video, but didn't feel like recording at the time. Got a grenade launcher, a scar, and a VSS from it. And five steel plates and an engine part. So that was pretty good. Right, let's see if we can get a dog from here. And no dog. Okay. Just gun that down quickly. So yeah, I currently now have six female dogs. Six of them. That's ridiculous. It's getting a bit out of hand. Right, and I think I might just head back over to the base now. Alright, so I have been doing a bit of work on the traits off camera. Let's um, start heading over to the base, and then I'll show you what I've gotten now. Right, 13 energy. Alright, we're going to have to drive there. So, take a look at the traits. Passive traits. Unlock lock 7% faster. Walk across the map takes 3% less time. Uh, bandages now restore 4% more health, which is pretty useless. Uh, withstand surfaces that slow you down better, so I can walk 5% better on blood. I've got the iron miner. I've got the lumberjack earlier. 2% uh, less noise when breaking walls and furniture at other survivors' bases. This I really want to get up to max because that'll be able to make 10% yeah, less noise. So it should hopefully help out in the long run. Oh yeah, and I got the bruiser one, which means that my health is increased and I now have a max of 102 health. Which I think is pretty cool. When that, get ma when that gets maxed out, I'm going to be able to have 120 health. Which will be pretty good. 
Right. Alright, so I need to keep on refining the electronic stuff in here because I'm trying to get myself some what they're called electronic circuits. So let's grab a USB because I believe they give circuits. There we are. 1% chance of getting an electronic circuit from that. However, have I got a antenna dish or anything anywhere? One of those big ticket items. There we go. Let's see how much what we can get from this. So, signal amplifier. Okay, it gives us more, takes the same time, and still has a chance of an electronic circuit. Alright, I'm going to speed this up quickly and see if we get a circuit. No, we didn't. We got some bolts. Okay. That sucks. Alright. I'm going to end off the episode here, actually, everybody. So, thank you for watching. Had a nice raid, and unfortunately didn't get a snorkel mask. Bye!